Welcome to Mikon's hardware. It is really pity, but I have to tell you that this TUE X99i server motherboard will go back to China. I really liked this mini ITX motherboard and I had hopes for it. The motherboard looks really nice and it also feels very nice. It has lots of features for its size, but unfortunately it comes with a disgusting bias. It simply doesn't work as it should. I have tried everything I could do and of course I have stayed in touch with the seller, I have tried to resolve every issue, but after all the seller told me that they do not have any better bias, they cannot solve the problem, and the only solution he could propose me is to send the motherboard back to China. This is very sad, but it is what it is. Now let's talk about the problem. First thing first, the motherboard counts with the evaluation copy bias. It means the Chinese are using unlicensed American Megatrend software to produce this bias, and it means that they are technically not even allowed to sell this bias copy. Then we have a problem that the CPU C6 state is simply not working on this motherboard, and that means that the CPU does not work with the Turbo Boost technology. And here I am talking about Turbo Boost, not Turbo Boost Unlock. So when you install your CPU, it locks its frequency at the base clock frequency and doesn't go up or down. By default, these settings are disabled in the BIOS, but if I try to enable it, the motherboard simply locks at start. Of course, I have asked the seller about the problem and the seller confirmed that the motherboard does not support the C6 state, which means the Turbo Boost will not work on this motherboard. Then I have also got to the USB 3.0 issue. So when I used a FOSS USB 3.0 external SSD, the system locks and hangs. This is very annoying, but it is a rather common for Chinese motherboards with a disgusting bias. The TPM header is also of a known state. I tried to figure out with the seller which TPM modules I can use with this header, and of course they don't know themselves. Another problem that I have got with the TNUA X99i is that my GT710 graphics card is not recognized, and my GTX 1060 works as PCI Express X8 instead of PCI Express X16. Of course, I have also talked to the seller about the problem, and they told me that in their lab GT710 works just fine and that I just have some sort of a compatibility issue, but it is what it is. So, as you can see, the motherboard BIOS is absolutely not ready to be used, and I don't think the Chinese should be selling this motherboard with such a bad BIOS. Now, instead of sending TNUA X99i back to China, I could have sent it to BIOS I engineer and he could have made a good BIOS for the motherboard. Unfortunately though, because of the Moscow barbarians who invaded Ukraine, BIOS I engineer lost his lab and he does not have capabilities to produce BIOS right now. So if I would want him to make a BIOS for me, I would have to send him the motherboard, pay for his work, buy him a workstation, and then buy extra equipment so he can do measurements on the motherboard and so he can solder and desolder the BIOS chip as well as a BIOS programmer to read and write the BIOS. I do not have capability and I do not have capacity to afford this right now, that's why I'm forced to send the motherboard back to China. Even though TNUA X99i comes with such a bad bias, I still validated the power delivery system. If you're interested, you will find the technical specification in the video description. In the video description, I also add a link to the super micro cooler. Some people asked me about it, so here you go. This is a server cooler and it comes with a very noisy fan. So if you would want to use it as a desktop PC somewhere close to your ears, then I would strongly recommend to replace this fan with a Noctua fan or with some other fan that is not that noisy. And with this, unfortunately, that's all what I can say about this X99i motherboard. I hope I have warned someone, I hope I have saved you some money, so thanks for watching, thanks for listening, bye bye. Thank you.